Luxana Crancourt comes from Demacia, a secluded kingdom where magic is met with fear and distrust. With the power to manipulate light, she spent her childhood fearing exposure and banishment, hiding her abilities to protect her family's noble reputation. Despite these challenges, Lux's hopeful and resilient nature has led her to accept her extraordinary gift. She now strives to foster greater acceptance and understanding in her homeland. Welcome to Lion Drag, where we dive deep into the lore that shapes our favorite worlds. I'm thrilled to have you all lore lovers here with us today. In this video, we are exploring the captivating story of Luxana Crownguard, a beacon of light in the turbulent world of Runeterra. From her secretive beginnings in Emasia, to her heroic deeds during the Great Mage Rebellion, Lux's journey is nothing short of epic. So grab a seat and get ready to illuminate your understanding of one of the most iconic champions of League of Legends. Luxana, better known as Lux, was raised in the Demacian city of High Silvermere alongside her older brother Garen. They were born into the illustrious Crown Guard family, which had a long history of protecting the kings of Demacia. Their grandfather heroically saved the king's life at the Battle of Storm's Fang, and their own Tiana became the commander of the elite Dauntless Vanguard regiment before Lux was even born. Garen embraced the family's legacy with enthusiasm, joining the military while still a young boy. In his absence, Lux was exposed to manage the family's extensive estates, a duty she resented even as a child. She yearned to explore the world beyond Demacia's walls and borders. Although she idolized Garen, she resisted his insistence that she forsake her own dreams. Lux's tutors, who aimed to groom her for a life of loyal service to the Crown Guard's family, were endlessly frustrated by her inquisitive nature. She challenged their teachings, sought out diverse perspectives, and pursued knowledge far beyond their curriculum. Despite their exasperation, Lux's infectious optimism and enthusiasm made it difficult for anyone to stay upset with her for long. None of them foresaw the imminent time of change. Magic had once nearly destroyed Runeterra and Demacia was established as a sanctuary where such powers were strictly forbidden. Many of the kingdom's folk tales recounted tales of pure hearts corrupted by the allure of magic. Tragically, Lux's uncle had been killed by a rogue mage years earlier. There were fearful whispers and rumors from beyond the great mountains that magic was once again rising in the world. One fateful night, as Lux was riding home, she and her horse were attacked by a ravenous pack of saber wolves. In a moment of sheer terror and desperation, she unleashed a torrent of magical light from within, driving away the beasts but leaving herself trembling in fear. Magic, the terror of the Masian legends, was as much a part of Lux as her crown guard heritage. Fear and doubt gnawed at her. Would she become evil? Was she an abomination destined for imprisonment or exile? At the very least, if her powers were discovered, it would forever disgrace the Crown Guard name. Sorry for this interruption, lore lover, but if you are enjoying this deep dive into Lux's lore, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to Lion Drag. It's completely free and helps me keep creating content for you. Your support means the world and keeps the magic of storytelling alive. With Garen spending more time away from High Silvermere, Lux often found herself alone in their family home. Over time, she became more familiar with her magic. The sleepless nights spent clenching her fist and willing her inner light to fade grew fewer. Secretly, she began experimenting, playing with sunbeams in the courtyard, bending them into solid form and creating tiny glowing figures in her palm. She resolved to keep her abilities hidden as much as possible. At 16, Lux traveled with her parents, Pieter and Ogata to their former residence in the great city of Demacia to witness Garen's induction into the esteemed Dauntless Vanguard. The city dazzled Lux. It stood as a monument to the kingdom's noble ideals, where every citizen was protected and cared for. There, Lux discovered the Illuminators, a charitable religious order dedicated to helping the sick and poor. Amid her family's courtly engagements, she grew close to a knight of the order named Kahina, who also taught Lux martial skills, sparing and training with her in the gardens of the Groundguard Manor. Spending more time in the capital, Lux began to learn about the wider world, its diversity and its history. She now understood that the Demacian way of life was not the only way. With newfound clarity, she saw her love for her homeland alongside her desire to see it become more just and perhaps a little more accepting of mages like herself. She even rules a city called Terbizia, which was once destroyed by an earthquake that struck, causing the earth to convulse and split open with massive fissures. 
The scales of the devastation were staggering. The city's once sturdy buildings, made of mountain granite and Damasian oak, were almost entirely destroyed. Dust-covered men and women toiled through the rubble with picks and shovels, searching for survivors but primarily pulling out lifeless bodies. Entire streets had disappeared into the numerous smoking chasms that now scared the city. In response to the disaster, illuminators like Lux arrived to offer aid. They provided medical support and comfort to the injured and dying, trying to alleviate the suffering caused by the catastrophe. Years later, during the Great Mage Rebellion, Lux returned to Derbysia. She led a group of mage refugees to help rebuild the city, transforming it into a safe haven for mages seeking peace. The reconstruction effort faced a significant challenge when the city was besieged by a large-scale mage seeker in Kurgan. The defense of Terbisia was led by notable figures such as Geron, Shivana and Silas. Following the battle, Jarvan IV granted Lux the authority to govern Terbisia, recognizing her pivotal role in its recovery and its new role as a sanctuary for mages. Lux believed her mother was the only one who knew her secret. However, she had no idea that both Geron and their own Tiana had suspected her magical abilities for years and were contemplating ways to protect her. Despite their awareness, they were in partial denial about Lux being a mage. After the events depicted in the Lux comic, Lux managed to get Geron to verbally acknowledge her as a mage, and they parted on good terms. Geron and Loxana's father, Pieter Crownguard, defended during the failed Naxian assault as Cyrus's folly. This likely refers to the same Cyrus who conquered the port city of Basilic, the hometown of Darius and Draven. Gallio considers Lux the only mage he likes and believes she can help him achieve prolonged animation periods beyond a single battle. Lux first conversed with Gallio when she was 13, though he had become aware of her when her family visited him during her toddler years. During the events of Warriors, Lux appears during Silas's attack with the Winter's Claw on a northern fortress where Geron and his soldiers had retreated. When the situation grew dire for the Demacians, Lux openly revealed her magical powers to summon Gallio's help, rallying Geron and his men. Lux was introduced to the Illuminators by Kahina, Sona's adoptive sister. Lux met Silas while he was imprisoned. They developed a bond as Lux brought him food and books, and Silas taught her how to control her power. However, Silas manipulated and used Lux to escape the Masian imprisonment after learning about Petricide from her. Despite genuinely caring for Lux, Silas would not hesitate to harm her if she stood in his way. Conversely, Lux is prepared to stop Silas if necessary. But in the end, Silas proved to be the one that freed the mages of Demacia in a rebellion that shattered the prison cells in the dungeons of Demacia, holding mages captives. Lux understood that what Silas does is necessary for the liberation of her kind. She formed a city of resistance and even Geron joined her sister to defend her and the rebels from the Mage Seeker's officers. Lux was intended to marry Jarvan IV, Lightshield, as suggested by her brother Geron and her own Tiana, to gain political immunity and protect her and her family's reputation in Demacia for any controversial accusations. Nocturne terrorized the Demacian settlement of Fosbarrow until Geron and Lux expelled him from a neighboring tomb. Nocturne was sealed in the grave of their great-grandfather Fasian, who died fighting him until a young mage named Luca accidentally woke him up. Thanks for joining me on this journey through Luxana Crownguard's lore. If you've enjoyed this video, be sure to like, share and subscribe for more content like this. And don't forget to join our Discord community to dive into more discussions and connect with fellow lore lovers. Until next time, keep the light shining bright and stay curious about the stories that shape our favorite worlds. Thank you.